With CBS 4 News Health Alert, we all know that familiar refrain, if you're sick, stay home. But why do millions of Americans choose to go to work instead of calling out sick? CBS 4 Sukanya Krishnan reports. With the dreaded cold and flu season fast approaching, many Americans with fevers, coughs, and runny noses will be forced to make a decision, go to work sick or stay at home. I've gone to work in all kinds of conditions, almost with like maybe something broken. New research from the staffing firm Account Temps finds 90% of employees admit they've come to the office with cold or flu symptoms. Most of those who went into work say they did so because they had too much work on their plate, didn't want to use their sick time, or felt pressure from their employer to come in. When you think about, you know, there are more jobs than skilled talent, it is conceivable that individuals do go to work because of limited resources within that company, uh, as well as tight deadlines for the job that they have. Among the 28 U.S. cities in the study, Charlotte, Miami, Austin, Chicago, and Cincinnati are the top five where employees show up sick. If you're not feeling well and you're coughing and sneezing, it's not a good way to like, take care of other people. According to the study, bosses should also set the example when sick, by taking time off and encouraging employees to work from home. The last thing you want is to prolong your recovery, but you don't want to get your colleagues sick as well. Researchers also suggest workers who feel sick think twice before pushing themselves too hard. Stay home, get better, you know, yeah, stay home. No sense of guilt? Nah. They say the key is to relax, rest, and recharge. Sukanya Krishnan, CBS News, New York. Account temp suggests managers could offer employees with minor ailments the opportunity to work from home or bring in temps to handle the workload.